And what we could see together is that while we are not anywhere close to being out of the woods as of yet, we are clearly on the right path to get there. So here goes. The first slide, for example, shows the progressive rise in the total number of positive test results. As I have said many times before, we fully expect these numbers to rise to the levels they are rising to, and we expect them to go higher. However, what we are seeing in real time and over the past week is a decline in the growth rate of new cases from 24% day over day on March 30th to roughly 12% today. This means that our efforts to flatten the curve are starting, and I say starting, to pay off even with the lag time in getting testing results back from the labs. There may still be anomalous days with spikes and troughs, and we've seen them already. But the overall curve that we fit into the data is beginning, and I say beginning, and I use that word again cautiously, beginning to flatten. Our job now is to keep flattening it to the point where our day over day increase is not just 12%, but is zero. That brings us to our second slide. The shadowed line shows us where we would be had we done nothing, had we allowed for business as usual. The second line below shows us our trajectory if everyone relaxed their social distancing and stopped staying at home. So you could see the big uptick there. That's projected infections. And for those of you who may not be able to see that, that is approximately, Beth, 3 million infections. Am I right? Yeah, I believe that's 3 million. And you could see the opportunity to be meaningfully under that uh, if we keep doing the social distancing. The range remains wide and it remains uncomfortably high at the high end. But it is, assuming we continue the social distancing, and that's the key, by the way, it remains meaningfully, even at the high end, below the numbers at which we had done or for which we had done nothing. Again, if we continue to practice our so social distancing, if we continue to practice smart hygiene, if we continue staying home unless we absolutely need to go out or are needed to get, an, get to an essential job, we could stick ourselves much more toward the curves on the bottom. And if we do, we get to the peak of that flatter curve much more quickly, which means we can drop down the other side of that curve much more quickly as well. 